Hi. Today, uh, solutions of higher order homogeneous differential equations, particularly case 1 and case 2, in which the auxiliary equation has distinct real roots and repeating real roots respectively. Now, suppose you want to uh, solve the differential equation y double prime plus 3y prime plus 2y equals 0. For this differential equation, we can write it in our operator form such that the second derivative of y with respect to x plus 3 times the first derivative of y with respect to x plus 2y is equal to 0. Next, we can factor out all the y's, leaving us with d squared plus 3d plus 2y, or sorry, plus 2, all over y equals 0. Now, for this equation, we can write it in its auxiliary form, m squared plus 3m plus 2 equals 0. We can factor and solve for the values of m. So by, by factoring, we get m plus 2 times m plus 1 equals 0. Solving for the values of m, we have m equals negative 2 and m equals negative 1. We say that the given differential equation is of case 1 because the roots of the auxiliary equation are both real numbers and none of them repeats. So for this kind of differential equation, the solution is given by the formula y equals c sub 1 e raised to m sub 1 x plus c sub 2 e raised to m sub 2 x plus c sub 3 e raised to m sub 3 x, so on and so forth. Since the given differential equation is of order 2, so we will only have two arbi arbitrary constants. So our solution for the given differential equation is y equals c sub 1 e raised to negative 2 x plus c sub 2 e raised to negative x. And this is the solution of the given differential equation. For a second order uh, differential uh, equation which is homogeneous in nature, we say that uh, we just add the variable x for every term in which a root of the auxiliary differential equation repeat. For a second order differential equation, let's try to solve y double prime plus 8y prime plus 16y equals 0. As before, we will try to write this given differential equation in its auxiliary form. We're using uh, the differential operator d. So we say that uh, y double prime is just the second derivative of y with respect to x plus 8 times the first derivative of y with respect to x plus 16y equals 0. Again, we factor out all the y's, leaving us with d squared plus 8d plus 16 times y equals 0. This part we can write as m squared plus 8m plus 16 equals 0. And solving for the values of m, we see that m is equal to negative 4 with a multiplicity of 2. For this type of differential equation, we know that the roots of our auxiliary equation are real, however, they are repeating. So the solution of the differential equation is y equals c sub 1 e raised to negative 4x and for every root that repeats you add the variable x. In this case the root negative 4 only repeats once. So for the second term 
we write plus c sub 2 x e raised to negative 4x. And this is the solution of the given differential equation. Okay, now, let's say we have this uh, third order differential equation. y triple prime plus 5y double prime plus 7y prime plus 3y equals 0. Let's try to find the solution of the given differential equation. Again, we try to find the auxiliary equation that is equal to the given differential equation. And by doing so, uh, we find out that it is just equal to m cubed plus 5m squared plus 7m plus 3 equals 0. Solving for the values of m that will make this statement true, we find m is equal to negative 1, multiplicity of 2, and negative 3. So this is a combination of case 1 and case 2. For this type of differential equation, the solution is given by y equals c sub 1 e raised to negative x plus since the root negative 1 repeats, we need to write the variable x again. So for the second term, we have c sub 2 x e raised to negative x. And for the last term, since negative 3 has uh, nothing in common with the other roots, so we just write plus c sub 3 e raised to negative 3x. And this is the solution of the given differential equation. As you can see, we have three arbitrary constants which is equal to the order of the given differential equation.